y'all we going thrifting <laughs> I'm kind of obsessed with thrifting. It's kind of a problem, <laughs> but I've been so excited to do this, you guys. This will be my first thrift with me on my channel, y'all. I love watching thrift with me. But yeah, welcome. Welcome back to my channel, y'all. My name is Kat. Today, we're going to be doing a thrift with me, y'all. It will be spliced between two different days. I did go to some locations last week. We're going to go to some more today. There is this one specific location. I'm actually here right now. I went last week, but it was really busy, and I couldn't really get as much footage as I wanted to. But y'all, this one, I've really been wanting to show it to you guys. It's actually looking really Really, really busy today as well <laughs> and it's kind of like everyone's favorite location but this actually has a whole dedicated section to more rare finds antiques art pieces things like that they are a little bit more pricey as well but definitely worth the money so hopefully fingers crossed I'll be able to get some good footage we'll find some great items and I will be also doing a haul at the end of the video as well you guys so I put a timestamp somewhere here on the screen if you do want to skip forward to that portion of the video but yeah let's go ahead and head in here and see what we can find
right you guys we at the haul portion of the video we are a couple days later but we here though <laughs> between last week and this past week y'all we have got some amazing items i didn't want to show every piece that i got in the actual thrift of me because i feel like it would make the haul kind of boring but anyways let's go ahead and jump into the haul you guys i'm gonna show the biggest and honestly best item in my opinion first y'all hold on i know i didn't gonna fit in the frame so i'm gonna show y'all the close-up like i usually do but yeah yeah can we just just this is absolutely gorgeous it is giant as you can see and y'all this is a handmade piece i don't know who would give this away but whoever did thank you so much i will definitely cherish this piece a lot it is very sentimental meaningful and it is absolutely gorgeous y'all this is made on a wood piece it kind of actually looks like this was burnt into the wood i'm not really sure how they did this but whoever did it props to you and as you've seen in the haul portion y'all this was ten dollars i seen it from across the way when i got up to it i was like oh it's probably gonna be like 20 25 dollars ten dollars i literally could not believe it i will be keeping this for myself you guys so 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 glad that i found this all right you guys next item so real quick you guys i'm not gonna do close-ups like i usually do of every single item because i don't want the video to be like two three hours long but i will do close-ups of certain items so yes next item you guys i fell in love with this pillow i'm not sure if i'm gonna be keeping it or not i'm actually gonna be doing a bed makeover new headboard pillows sheets and everything like that and i feel like this might work perfectly for my bed i'm not sure but we'll see if not i will be selling this but y'all i literally like this this is everything that i love the travel the black the kind of beige color such a gorgeous pillow and actually this one didn't have a price on it but i did ask at the counter and i believe that this was 350 such a great price for a pillow like this love this okay y'all now this is kind of like chalky and stuff so i don't want to get it all over me but y'all look at this okay i'm gonna go ahead and take this off because the price actually fell off of it but y'all this was four dollars this is actually like if you can look I hope you guys can see but it was like a blue glass blue vase underneath and someone did a diy project but honestly again whoever did this props to you it looks amazing i actually kind of want to know what they use to make this texture i'm going to be doing some diys i've collected a lot of thrifted vases of all different sizes some really big ones as well and i'm going to be doing some kind of like textured and colored diys on them and some i want to do like this so i'll do that in a future video you guys but i literally as soon as i seen this i was very drawn to it it does need a little bit of touch up at the top but for four dollars it was worth it to me i will be keeping this i absolutely love this piece what next what now y'all when i found this i literally could not like so i'm trying to hold it out of the frame so it's a surprise <laughs> but i actually found another one of these a couple of weeks ago if you've seen a couple thrift hauls back i found another one of these and that was the first one that i have ever found in a thrift store i usually find them at home goods but when i seen it in the thrift store i was so excited i didn't think i was gonna find another one at least for a long long time and y'all ma'am i will show you guys in the close-up but y'all look at how beautiful this is this is absolutely gorgeous so in love with it you guys love the color i do like the ones that are kind of shined up as well but i'm definitely more drawn to the raw crystals this one was 15 oh child 15 dollars. i hope it's focusing you guys but 15 dollars. and again like i said in my other one i think what was it uh, uh um why well, i can't think right now amethyst y'all anyways <laughs> the other one that i found was an amethyst and i actually mentioned in that thrift haul that crystals even this size are very very expensive so this was such a great price so glad i found this and i will be keeping this y'all all right you guys let's do a couple of accessories next a little bare hair <laughs> y'all i'm definitely drawn to more gold tone pieces of jewelry but i really do like silver as well and when i saw these y'all i was i fell in love with them I will do a close-up but i do want to show you real quick here hopefully it will focus it is these absolutely gorgeous drop earrings the etched flower detailing is so gorgeous these were such a great price they were three dollars let me show y'all again real quick three dollars hopefully it's focusing and y'all these are such a great size as well not too big not too small they do have a good weight to them but they're not super heavy either love these so gorgeous and these will be for sale all right another accessory piece y'all this one this is a heavy duty piece y'all look at this you guys again i will show you in the close-up i just wanted to show you guys real quick but y'all this piece is 
absolutely gorgeous. I'm not sure if this is plated silver or if it is solid silver, but it has a great weight to it. Got a stamp on the back of it. And y'all, the price of this was so good. I'm gonna be looking for a chain that will fit well with this. I don't think it should be too small and dainty because this is a larger, more heavy duty piece, but I will keep an eye out for that. And this will be for sale as well. All right, you guys, we're gonna do one more jewelry piece and then we'll get back to home decor. Y'all, look at this cuff bracelet this is made of pewter love again the flower etch detailing so simple and elegant absolutely gorgeous piece this one was oh, five dollars such a great price and this will be for sale as well absolutely love this piece all right you guys back to home decor y'all look at this this was four dollars y'all so in love with this this is absolutely gorgeous again we have a theme with the flowers going on love the cutouts of this the detail of this this is a vintage piece so gorgeous this is such a great size for a bookshelf a side table absolutely love this and this will be for sale as well all right what else what else what else? oh y'all <laughs> in love with this i think i will be keeping this for myself you guys if you've seen my thrift hauls in the past you know i'm very drawn to natural elements woods metals marble things like that so when i saw this i just immediately fell in love with it this is a hand carved wood trivet tray the details on this are absolutely stunning the color of this love it this is actually a really good size as well this one was hold on let me see make sure it's facing the right way 2.99 and if you can see it has where is it a piece where you can hang it on the back so you can use it as a trivet or you can hang it on the wall i think i will hang it on the wall this is just really a work of art absolutely love this such a great find all righty now what else what else what else what else oh you guys let me get them right real quick yeah i had to get them was so in love with them hold on where's the part hold on that one fell off a dollar i i couldn't even believe it love these you guys so i was actually talking to the lady in line it was in front of me when i was checking out and she had said something about these she was like it was so gorgeous and we were trying to figure out what they're used for she was saying either sake or tea but we were like okay they're kind of a little bit small for like a teacup or whatever then we was like maybe they shot glasses i don't know what y'all think but um beautiful absolutely love these the color palette the pattern the speckled detailing and even the size i feel like these are just they're so cute and dainty and y'all i really was debating whether i was going to keep them i think i will be selling these y'all i literally have so many cups glasses shot glasses all type of stuff and all of them are absolutely gorgeous so i, I really am not trying to become a hoarder you know what i'm saying hopefully i'm not one already no i'm not <laughs> but we don't want to get there you know what i'm saying so i will be selling these but i was so glad to find these these are absolutely adorable all righty what we got next oh yeah yeah love this i will be selling this but it was very hard to decide to part with it but this is so gorgeous you guys look at the detail on this this is a hand painted piece it is so intricate so gorgeous love all the different colors on it i love that they're kind of like a pastel muted color the size of this is perfect this one was nine dollars this is literally a work of art so so gorgeous love this and again this will be for sale all right next item yeah had to get it so first of all we're gonna just draw attention to the fact that i have not cleaned it yet you guys i've been really busy the past few days hadn't got around to it but it will be much more beautiful when it is cleaned but y'all i literally fell in love with the shape of this it's so gorgeous and i have seen a lot of people do diy with paper mache and that was the first thing that my mind thought of when i saw the shape of this i feel like this would be really beautiful paper mache so i'm gonna do a diy probably in the same one that i do the diy with the vases so definitely stay tuned for that hopefully it won't we gonna see how it turns out <laughs> never worked with paper mache before but i just really love this the size of it is really substantial it's very well weighted let's see so it has a home good again y'all do not judge me with the dirtiness now i'm looking at it it's kind of grossing me out <laughs> but so this was actually originally from home goods 12.99 and I got it for $4.99. And what does it say? Made in Portugal. And hold on, there's actually a sticker. 
hopefully it's focusing but yeah just literally fell in love with this so hopefully the paper mache diy will turn out good we'll we'll see <laughs> when we get to that but love this piece you guys what else what else oh yeah okay so i got this vase this one was it's kind of hard to see because it was actually written on the bottom but it was 199 i'm not even gonna worry about showing it because it's probably not gonna show up on the camera but y'all one thing that i do when i look for vases is definitely different shapes and sizes but i also pay attention to the texture so when i seen this kind of rib detailing i was very drawn to that and again i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep it this color i might use this one in the vase diy with the texture and you know change the color of it because i feel like a different color with this rib texture might be really beautiful so I definitely look for vases with different shapes different textures because you can always change the color of them so love this then I have another vase you guys and I love this and it's it's kind of simple but y'all look at the earthy tones I'll just show you guys in the close-up but I do want to show you the price for y'all I really hope that these price tags are focusing for y'all but well, this one was four dollars and y'all look at how earthy and natural this looks this is such an organic looking piece i absolutely love the color palette of this so so gorgeous and this is a really good size it's very well weighted and one thing that i really like to do i didn't put them over here hold on let me, one second y'all be right back so i've mentioned this before but i really do like to pair bases together of different sizes different shapes and obviously you can always change the color so these are actually a couple of vases that i've thrifted a while before but i did want to show you guys this one the shape again this one is a matte and this one kind of glossy but you could make this a matte and i feel like these would really be beautiful together the natural warm tones love that this has a handle just a tad bit different shape and size really really beautiful and then this one as well this and all of these yeah all of these are handmade pieces this one as well absolutely gorgeous hold on let me bring it a little bit closer so y'all can see hopefully it is focusing i don't have the prices on these anymore but these were no more than two or three dollars you guys i completely forgot to do the entire clip for this item but it's literally one of my favorite pieces i had to insert it in but y'all look at this piece everything about this is absolutely stunning the flowered etch detailing the brass on top of the black so so gorgeous y'all and this piece was five dollars y'all when i seen the price i literally could not believe it y'all and look at the shape of this absolutely stunning so glad i found this what else what else did i do everything oh yeah so i find a lot of these but there are specific ones that are a little more detailed and more unique and whenever i see them i grab them they're usually no more than three or four dollars this one was two but y'all look at how beautiful this is absolutely gorgeous love the little handles on it this kind of leaf detailing this would be a great catch-all tray for rings watches your keys absolutely gorgeous piece and this will be for sale all right is that everything oh right. and then last but not least yeah i've actually found i think three other pieces that are from this artist so this one i'm not even gonna try to pronounce the name you guys because i'm dyslexic and yeah so but y'all gonna see it hold on let me get baby her hair off of it <laughs> but um so 2.99 such a great price y'all this is antique gold and look at the detail on this you guys the color palette the gold with this kind of pastel baby blue so so gorgeous y'all love the shape of this and actually y'all hold on one second because i actually think i still have one of the other pieces that is from this artist look at this love this it's kind of a flowered shape so gorgeous same color palette but absolutely gorgeous has the stamp on the back as well and y'all uh, i don't have the price on this anymore because i actually gave this piece to my mom she really loved this pattern and she's in love with flowers so this fit her style perfectly so i'll try to remember what the other two pieces from this artist were i know that there was another bowl but i can't remember what the shape was and then you guys this was, was like a pedestal bowl and it had a lid on it i think i have a picture so i'll try to insert it somewhere if I can't find it but that one was my favorite of all four of these pieces but yeah you guys this one will be for sale and then like I mentioned that this one is actually my mom did get this one for me all right you guys that does conclude this video I really hope you guys enjoyed watching I'm definitely be having a lot more thrift with me's coming up soon a lot more thrift hauls coming up soon I'm trying to decide when I do do the thrift with me's if I'm gonna keep the thrift with me part and then the haul together in one I just don't want my videos to be too too long so y'all let me know what you think I'm gonna be having a lot more content coming up as well I'm still gonna be doing 
doing a lot of thrift hauls y'all that's definitely my jam but i'll be doing some diys like i mentioned with the vases that i thrifted the bed makeover i'm gonna be doing some stuff in my office area as well just gonna be mixing up the content a little but yeah you guys again i really hope you guys enjoyed the video i love you guys i appreciate y'all so much and i'll be back to talk to y'all again soon